Alright, this is my Hardinch DSMA automatic turret lathe. Which I've got up and running right now. There's my control panel. Down here is where I adjust the speeds and feeds. This is called the programming unit. It's a series of cams and stops that I can use to adjust the various operations of the machine. Back here is where I adjust how far the turret goes forward. There's a deep drill unit on the back side, which I'm using in this particular program. And this one's got a bar feeder, a homemade bar feeder with a weight hanging from a pulley that pulls a piston down the shaft. And uh, let's go ahead and make a part. This is a heat sink for slot cars. The turret's loaded up with a stop for feeding the stock. Then a knee tool for cutting down the diameter. I'm using a boring bar to cut down the diameter some more from the bottom side. The center drill, drill, tap. I come in from the side and cut the fins for the heat sink and cut down another part of the diameter as well as face the part right there on the front cross slide. I've made a few hundred of these already, so there's plenty of chips to go around. The machine's already been cleaned out a bunch. Let's fire it up. Turn on the spindle. I just loaded this bar and it's a rattly one, unfortunately. They're not all like that. Some coolant. Close the cover here. And off we go. Well, is the air on? Nope, gotta turn on the air first. There we go. programming unit work. With each move forward of the turret, it rotates in the different cams, activates the different mechanisms. To feed the stock or change the speed for tapping with a reverse deep hole drill, causing it to peck drill or speed change, cross slide, vertical slide, rapid return or slow return. The lower cam drum determines the high speed traverse. It feeds at high speed until the cam trips the micro switch bearing. 